Hi folks, welcome to or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here I'd love it if you stayed and subbed. This is a three hour live that I've checked she's taken down so she's taken it down for a reason. I vaguely remember her having a go at somebody over nothing at the end but the rest of it is a complete blank so I thought we'd give this a go. Shall we jump in? Doofus, Doofus the dog. And as usual, she's not there. What is he eating? Oh, he's got a thing. I thought he was eating the fluffy thing. <laughs> so you're not going to get any goodness out of that, whatever the hell it is. Hedgehog or something. I wonder does Pom Pom get chews and treats? Somehow think not. How rude, I've said this before, but how rude is this? Oh, she's I was just about to double it up and she's arrived. Or has she? See the whole room shaking. She's cooking something. All right. Two and a half minutes. She just left people sat there. saying that's the thing i forgot to say she's um uploaded some pictures on instagram today or yesterday i'll add them in she's back with the wigs again and she's had her lips injected <sighs> did she say so sick or something So sick of what? Not people not being there the instant you switch on. So you wander off and leave people. When you wonder then why they're not there, maybe they were there and they got fed up and went away. Hi, TT. Yay, TT. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, that's what she was cooking. So remember in my last vlog, you guys can hear me, right? My last vlog, I said I wanted to drink every night. I'm doing it. What do you want? A round of applause? Hi. Whatever your username is. Bugging her eyes out thing, it's insane. Food. How that you're going to poke with chopsticks, is that why? <laughs> I just love that name, Pokey Bowl. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd want to eat a Pokey Bowl though. Half white rice, half greens, salmon, edamame, cucumber. Red cabbage, seaweed salad, sesame seeds, spicy, oh good Lola, spicy mayo, soy sauce, and mm. 
Why didn't you wait until you said the and whatever it was before you shoved a load in your gob? Delicious. And what? Now we're none the wiser. Eat like a pig. Well, that was a really interesting close-up of a bit of lettuce. We know what salmon looks like. I bought this. Well, we know you didn't make it. <laughs> I did not make this. <laughs> no. No shit, Sherlock. makes me laugh she does that all the time oh give me your questions and i'll answer them oh i lost the questions oh nobody asked me anything good <laughs> why bother a while ago i was like oh i Questions and I did get a lot of questions and then I lost the questions because I got it from all these different social media outlets, Instagram. You only asked on Instagram, you liar. And you could easily find the post, but you won't go back and look. DMs, YouTube. And then I couldn't find them again. Then I found them and I just never did it. I dropped the ball. So should I do it in like a stagnant video? Why would anybody bother asking you questions again when you show so little concern about any of them and the questions that they asked you? No. I never did that video. No, she never does. And I, the questions were good. I might do that. So you guys should look on my Instagram. I just posted the most amazing sunset. It's 80 degrees. Feels like a cool summer night. Like it's a little balmy. It's not a hot 80. Especially now that the sun has gone down. I can't even find that old post. You could if you tried looking. Them things she gives doofus to eat that he's practically breaking his teeth on. Are they ones that will clean his teeth? Like in the UK we have things called denta sticks for dogs. And they're shaped in an X. And the way they're shaped like helps knock tartar off their teeth and that. Is, will that do that? Because we know she's not brushing them. Otherwise he's going to end up losing all his teeth like Pom Pom did. I 
and now Lewis, I saw your comment. It was, it was like, almost felt like Pulp Fiction, right? Because of how I took a picture in the car with the sunset behind me. Cheryl, you make me hungry. Mm, I miss cereal though. I haven't had that in a while. Hi, Sally. Alejandre. So me your question again and then And then I won't answer, answer it. <laughs> Look at my little boy. He's not your little boy. I don't know if you've noticed or not, Lardy. He's a dog. This is gonna last. Yeah. Three meals. Hi, yeah. Irma. Of course it is. And you're gonna eat them all at once Thank now. Mm, hi, Sheila. Hey, hey, my moderator. My unpaid servant, more like. I'm like a big time YouTuber, I need a moderator. Huh. Um. Maybe you should shut the door then and stop teasing the dog. Hi, boy. Oh, but it's going to last three meals, remember? Yeah, it's not rain. Hi, Rachel. It's just wind. No rain. Oh. Why do you always grab your animals around their necks? She has to have that full control. It's like when she grabs Gucci's face. <laughs> I'm all stuck up. Hi, Sally. What's new? So, I have a problem. <laughs> Let's talk about it. I'm highly addicted to my sleeping pills, Ambien. And. <clears throat> Oh, well, it's gonna rain in California. It doesn't rain here. Yeah, it does. And it's starting to affect me. Memory loss. I'm just not as sharp. <laughs> because it's always in my system. Stop teasing the dog. Tell him no and put him down. Give him his thing and put him at the other end of the thing. If that was Pom Pom, she'd wang her off to the other end of the city. Pom Pom is pumping something and choking. And you're just going to leave her do that, okay. So...
if it's always in my system, last bite. Last bite, my ass. Oh, but he's a, he's a pedigree, though. Surely a pedigree Shih Tzu wouldn't have an underbite. You know, it builds up. Oh, no. Irma. No. Mm-mm. But Irma, you have the guns, so you're okay. I, except you can't shoot it. Flee. <clears throat> I want to get a gun, too. I'm back to wanting a gun, Irma. I think I'm going to get, when I can afford it, the Smith & Weston. Smith Wesson. And I don't even know anything about bloody guns. Smith & Wesson revolver. The Air Light. Um, she says that she's addicted to Ambien, that she's having weird symptoms of brain fog and whatever, and she wants to get a gun. Uh huh. Who would give her a gun, really? Who? I really want a revolver and not a semi automatic. Um, the thing I like about the revolver <laughs> um, is there's never a bullet in the chamber. That kind of scares me, being new to guns. There's not a lot of recoil. Um, and it's a double action. So, hi, Marie Diana. Ugh. I really don't like Marie Diana. Just something about her doesn't sit right with me. So, some of them have the, what is that called? Uh, uh, thing that you cock back the gun. So that is, So, like, if the gun is just regular. I think you might be preaching to the choir, Lardy. I think most Americans know about guns. So your little gun lesson here is falling on deaf ears because they already know. And if they don't, it's because they don't want one. It won't go off. Double action is cock back the. Wait, is it single action? Let's get it mixed up. If you have to do two things, maybe it's double. But what would I know? <laughs> I think it's called single action because the trigger cocks the gun and you have to use pressure to shoot it. Where this is going to last me three meals. There's okay. Right, the slide. Well. Who does she think she's fooling when she says this is going to last me eight weeks. Is she trying to fool herself that she's not eating that much? I don't understand it. Why does she sit there and say, this is going to last me three meals while we sit here and watch her eat it all in one sitting? 
and then the next time she has food she says the same thing like we didn't see her do it before i don't understand <laughs> Watching you eat. Yeah. It doesn't gross me out as much as it winds me up. The smacking and the gl uh, getting things off her fork with her teeth and slurping and lying about how many meals it'll last. Is she giving her money already? I know, I'm kind of afraid of that too. But. Do you grow accustomed to that or something? Like she just sits there and people give her $20, $50, whatever, 10 and she's like, oh, coffee, thanks. Like, it's a normal thing for total strangers to give her money. Do, do, do they become numb or something, these YouTubers that get given super chats? And she doesn't even, like, get embarrassed. And what are they giving her money for? She's earning from YouTube. She doesn't need their money as well. Oh, I suppose they could just fucking um, subscribe to Patreon and pay for nothing because that's what they're doing here. It's all the same at the end of the day, isn't it? <laughs> He's head. But no one out of here owns a revolver. I feel like I need it, like for in my apartment. I wouldn't carry it with me. Well, what's the point of having it then? It's like saying, oh, I got attacked coming home last night. I thought you had mace. Yeah, I left it in the kitchen. versus single action revolvers. Ugh. An easy way to remember the difference between single and double action is to remember that a single action trigger performs just a single action. Do you think you'll remember that now? So... She still doesn't get it. An easy way to remember the difference is a single action gun only does one action. You just read it. Between single and double actions, to remember that a single action trigger performs just a single action, dropping the hammer, which fires the round, and a double action trigger performs two actions in one trigger pull, cocking the hammer and then releasing it. It should be noted that semi-automatic pistols, the hammer is cocked by the recoiling slide and does not have to be manually cocked after the first shot. So I'm assuming, Irma, you've got a round in the chain, a bullet in the chamber, along with your round of mags, and it's cocked, correct? I don't know. Uh, 
um, single action semi-automatics are still the same as far as one trigger pull. She's completely confused. Look at the face. Okay, double action triggers, the difference between revolvers and semi-automatics become more apparent because of how follow-up shots, follow shots are handled. I love how she does that, that nodding and looking at the camera. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I get that. Uh, no, you're going to read it six or seven times more when you finish the live or tomorrow because it's not making sense at all. A double action revolver will have a trigger that both cocks the hammer and releases it in one pull. And this will occur every shot unless the hammer is pulled back manually before the shot. Oh, it's called a hammer. It's taking you till now. All you have to do is pull the trigger. She's ready to go. How many times did you say hammer? And you've only just realised that's what it is now. Where the trigger both cocks the hammer. Okay, so there's a hidden one and then there's the open one. So there's a hammer inside. Sometimes you don't see that. I would probably leave it in an uncocked position. That's the whole point. That's what you're supposed to do in a safe place. I need to use it pulling just, all I have to do is pull the trigger. It's like an eight pound pull. So you really need to like pull. And there's two actions in that pull. Halfway is cocking the hammer. And then the second half is shooting the bullet. I wouldn't lay, leave you in charge of a toy gun, never mind a real one. Can you imagine if she actually got a gun? So, I do believe that once the thing is cocked and you pull, Hammer. You can just keep pulling. Then also to empty it, to load it, just, I don't know. What about a shotgun? <laughs> I'm all stuffed up, sorry guys. Yes, Marie Diana. This is why I cannot get a semi automatic I cannot pull back the slide. Um, I just want something simple too, like you have to load it you have to load every gun. You semi automatic and put the magazine, it's called the magazine, you put it in the bottom. Hi, baby girl. Oh my goodness, the kisses. Oh, they're playing. Friday and, Friday and Gucci are playing, and Pom Pom is here. This is Pom Pom Langer. She's a rat job. I have to get you groomed. You're a mess. You are a mess. Okay. I'm done now. Go away. You're boring me. Good girl. Um, so, I know. So, my new thing came, but I don't know if it's long enough. And the opals are so small. Okay, I'm, I'm a little bit kind of already. I don't like to drink alone, so that's why I like to do these lives. So you've just manhandled your dog, who's been humping, you said, and then you're rubbing a new piercing with your dirty hands. Uh -huh. Oh, the great poop blusher. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I have it. It's by Laura Geller, Pink Grapefruit. I feel like it's a little bit different. Oh, wait. I have to show you. I can show you guys this. Hang on. Where's she going? Anywhere interested? Oops. Wrong thing. Oh, Lord. Am I going to have to mute that? Oh my god. Hold on. 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 Hold on.
This is the thing she does, like Lisa does. Oh, I had this before and I decided I didn't want it. Or I was having a declutter and I threw it away and then I decided I liked it again. So I went, and, oops, I went and bought it again. And on and on and on the insanity goes. Utter madness. I don't understand them. They both do it. How far in were they? Born to Glow. I got it at Target. I've never seen it anywhere else. I've had this color before in the whole one. And stupidly, in a feng shui moment, I threw it away and it's amazing. Look at that, okay? One swipe. It's a beautiful light, but you have to be really careful. If you want like a really nice, sun kiss glow now it can make you look can make you look a little muddy so you have to be careful you know go light but do you see like Oop. i know they'll use name of everything so it's it feels like butter this one has a lot of fine glitter. Can I ask, how many of you out there go around rubbing your fingers in butter? To know that rubbing your fingers in an eyeshadow feels like butter. I've always wondered. <laughs> Equally gorgeous. But you will get glitter flakes, like falling. Why does she have to do that stupid mouth thing when she puts blush on? It's like Lisa moves her mouth to the other side of her head and loudy, loudy. <laughs> Mind you, that's not bad. She's loud. Um, shall we call her that for a while? She can't complain about that. Um, she does a stupid fish face. Look at that. Oh. I use it as eyeshadow too. Did you see how like... Do you want another slice of cake out, Sally? Brown that is. It's just like... Go all around. I mean, I'm going to take a shower before I go to bed, so... I'm just going to show you like... Cool show. Really very, very... Sun-kissed. JJ, please hold. She's so good to me. So see how like the grapefruit is not really pink. It's more orange. I think because it's a baked product, each one is different. Like I see a little bit of pink in the middle. It's not pink, she says, holding it up, and it's pink. I think I've got that one, because Laura Geller was... Well, she still is on QVC UK. And I wouldn't call it orange. Because when everyone was going ape shit over orange blushes, I was like, I don't have an orange blush. <laughs> I need one. What do you need an orange blush for, honestly? You're sitting in bed. <laughs> Who's going to see you in your orange blush? But anyway, it's like she'll say black is white just to be right, won't she? 
and you can't argue with her. Is it coral or like a dark coral? <laughs> you look stupid. What are you doing? Get a baby wipe and wash your face while you're at it. Can see it. <laughs> like I need to. There is no way on God's green earth that I could have something that fiddly to put in my lip with my big hands. It's like trying to put on necklaces. Oh, it drives me mad. Because it's like you just think you've got the thing in it and it's like no and it pings off and they've made them so small now. <laughs> or is it just me? But I have so I'm gonna have to get magnifying. I was gonna say then magnets to put on all my necklaces because otherwise I sit there for ten minutes trying to put them on, and my husband's no use either. He's got really big hands, so there's no way he's gonna fiddle about with them things. So I sit there and I persevere for about ten minutes, and then I'm like, no, fuck it, <laughs> goes back on a hanger or it goes into the jewelry thing and it's like i want to wear them but they're just so annoying <laughs> i mean really is there any point having an opal or whatever it is who's gonna see that i need to <laughs> hey do first no baba no, no. Stop shouting, Lardy. Loudy, be quiet. Mm -mm. Shut up. Cut my nails in order to put that thing in that minuscule. Three meals, remember? Measure it. Stop banging things. What was that? Was that here? What should we talk about, you guys? I don't know 
、今おばひろったり。You should do if he's your uncle. I mean, honestly, the only reason I do the lives when I'm eating is because I don't want to drink alone. So I feel like you guys are with me. Even though I did have this last night. It's so good. Sake and sushi.、Mm -hmm. Cheers. You're sleepy? You want to give mommy a paw? Give me a paw. Paw. Yay! You did it! You're such a good boy! Look at how you did it! You're such a good boy. Yes, you eat mommy, you paw. You're so smart. You're so smart, little boy. Oh, my medium sized dummy. What do you do? do, 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 do? <clears throat> That looked like something it shouldn't. Susan Benson, get a life. Poor Pom Pom. Oh, you're smelling him pushing? He's smelling him pushing. Doesn't having a drink disturb your sleep? If I drink a glass of wine, I fall asleep and then wake up. My sleep is so fucked up, Marie Diana. I'm gonna drink and take a pill. Like, throw caution to the wind. If that had been somebody else that said, doesn't that mess up your routine? Da, 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 da. She'd have gone off the deep end screaming at them. But because it's Marie Diana who gives her money, she's allowed to say that. I don't give a shit. Yeah, we know. I'm just looking on YouTube for a second. See if there's anything. Nothing. There's nothing. Let's see. What's Trisha p a y e r I like scrounge to find people to watch. Oh, I know. I did a vlog where I asked you guys. Can I just say, how rude? You're in the middle of a live. People are giving up their time to watch you, and you're looking at YouTube and what you can watch. That's akin to putting your pajamas on and winding up the clock when you've got guests around the house. Rude. Um, who I should watch? I know, I am careful. I mean, I take, it's not good to take the Ambien. And I, I mean, how much do I drink? It's two of these, real. Two? You've already had more than three. Dish. I mean, I'm just looking. Rich Lux and Eugene Coney has gone too far. He is so, he tries so hard to be provocative. On his channel. I, he's another one I can't stand. So, why are you even looking at it then? I can't bear Rich Lux. I don't, I don't get the appeal myself. But I don't look to see what he's doing. Isn't she the one who says if you don't like someone, just don't watch? How cute does Pom Pom look back there? See, I could be in and out in two minutes, have her under one arm, Gucci under the other, Doofus could follow on behind, and I could find them all nice homes. I'm not giving Gucci to anyone, sorry, he's mine. <laughs> But do you know what I mean? It's like she doesn't appreciate them animals at all. God, I hate n a r c s It's just so sad. 
so sad. Yes, you are. Let's see, Trisha Paytas's latest video. She entitled it "Benefits of Dating the Tindler, Tinder Swindler." Nobody has anything in it anymore. Seriously, we're all. I was thinking, am I going to do this for another twenty years? I really, really, really have nothing to talk about. That was probably an excuse, Marie Diana, but yeah. I mean, Ambien does some crazy shit. People eat whole jars of mayonnaise. I stretch Look. my earlobes on it. I eat stuff that I don't remember eating. I do. Don't you do that daily? Three meals, remember? Three. Things and I can't really remember. Oh, he got it. That I did them. I mean, I remember, but... Your dog's eating paper, by the way. It doesn't feel like it was me. And... They really don't want you to be on it because it is linked to early Alzheimer's, and now I see. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, mine's not like that. I remember, but it doesn't feel like... It was in the moment, you know what I mean? Like it's like an afterthought, like, oh yeah. Like let's say I take it, then I eat something, I don't cook full meals. And then I see the bowl in the sink in the morning and I'm like, oh yeah, I don't or I'll think, oh I'm gonna go get that this morning, whatever I have in the refrigerator, and then I realize I ate it. You do that without ambien. She's trying to blame the ambient now. It's like a split second. I mean, I'm so not worried about it. Um, if you're not worried about it, why are you talking about it? I've got a problem. I'm losing my memory. Oh, but I'm so not worried about it. Whatever. I just kind of wish that I was... Mm, sharper sharper but drugs lsd i don't care hot whatever i'm not horrified by things i'm not scared i'm scared i'm not careful mm. about the paper cup i'm not like some in the last live was like I'm afraid to eat sushi I'm not scared of anything so yeah you are except fentanyl um I look I read a whole thing not read YouTube oh my back still hurts it's not gas whole thing it's it's like a whole shoulder thing. I watched a YouTube video that said what fentanyl does to your brain. And just because I was curious, it popped up in my feed. And how did I get here? It was in my feed. I had no control over what my fingers did and what I watched and what I commented. Um. It's like a thousand times stronger than morphine. Morphine's crap, if you ask me. I had a, an allergic reaction to the tablets I was on, so they took me off everything. So I had absolutely nothing for weeks, and I was in agony. And the hospital said I could have morphine patches. I had to argue the toss with the doctor to actually get them. The, the hospital had said years ago, if anything happens and you're, you know, you're in severe pain and you need morphine patches, you can always ask for them. Well, I never asked for them because I, that's just me. But when I had nothing, I thought, fuck it, I'm going to ask for them. I had to argue the toss with the doctor. Anyway, then he struck me off because he was a mardy ass. Because I went to Pals, it's a thing in the UK, and they made him 
give me the prescription. So then he struck me off because he was pissed off at me. And after all that, they didn't, it didn't do anything. It was like sticking an elastoplast on my shoulder or my arm or whatever and expecting it to dull the pain. Absolutely nothing. So, I don't know. I wonder if fentanyl would do it. <laughs> Joke. What are Delta 8 gummies? Um, what was that? Fentanyl. Tamazepam. Sleeping tablet. I wonder if it's a thing with narcs, but Lisa doesn't do it, does she? But Lardy is very like my mother. I can see a lot of my mother in Lardy. And my mum lived on Mogadon. And I think they were actually discontinued or something. They were taken out of rotation. And you were only, the same as Ambien, you were only supposed to have them for a small amount of time. And my mum had got some fucking doctor wrapped around her little finger. And she used to go and she had them regularly. And she took, I think she took two every night. And it's like, I'm sure... If you didn't take them and you waited long enough, you'd sleep. I don't understand. It's like, at this time, Loudy <laughs> hasn't got anything to get up for. So wait till you fall asleep then. What difference does it make? It's like me. What difference does it make if it's night or day? None. So just wait until you're tired enough and then you will fall asleep. Or if you're having a really bad night, take them once in a blue moon, but relying on them. I don't understand that. But yeah, my mum did. She had them. And it's like I'd worked a double shift at the hotel when I worked at the Waldorf as a Palm Court and restaurant cashier. We used to do um, like an evening shift and you had to wait until the last person left the restaurant and it could be it shut at 12 but sometimes they didn't leave till two and it's a posh place you can't go up to people and go can, can you fuck off please so you had to i had to wait until the last person had paid so it could be two o'clock in the morning and then i was expected to be there for seven o'clock in the morning to do the breakfast and then you went home that's what happened but this thing i'd done a night shift, a day shift, a night shift, a day shift, and I'd had no sleep, and I was wired to hell, and I couldn't, and I got home, and it was like, I was wide awake, anyone would think I'd had two ton of caffeine, or a monster, or something, and so my mum said to me, take one of them, and I was like, I don't want a sleeping tablet, and she's like, just take it, because you have to be in work tomorrow, so I was like, okay, and I'm sat at the top of the stairs, talking to her about something, and she's like, go to bed and i'm like oh what am i going to do suddenly collapse and start snoring at the top of the stairs and it was like shit i think i am going to collapse and start snoring at the top of the stairs it was like wow it wiped me out completely and it's like how do you take them all the time but then i suppose you got used to them don't you it's like anything it's like me and my painkillers take something long enough it has no effect so then stop taking it would be my advice but hey who am i it's anxiety now. Controlled some substance, same thing as Ambien. It's a benzodiazepine, so they're all they are all that. See, this is what she does. She reads up on medications and, and illnesses and what medications you get for what illnesses, and then she goes to the doctor and pretends she has that illness so she can get that medication. <laughs> Benzos, like that's serious. Yeah, benzo drug, psychoactive drugs. 
with the core chemical structure is the fusion of a benzene ring and a diazepam ring. <clears throat> Lowers brain activity, prescribed to treat conditions such as anxiety, insomnia, and seizures. Like, I'm not, first of all, you guys don't, you don't have to give me. Don't give me advice. Um, advice. First of all, it's also known as Valium and Xanax. Okay, so don't kid yourself that it's mild. It is a controlled substance just like Ambien. Not very controlled in your case though, is it? Xanax, Clonopin, Ativan, Valium, Librium, Xanax. You've said that already. Lorazepam, Alprazolam, and what works for one person might not work for another, so I would never give advice. <laughs> Liar. Chamomile, Maria, Marie Diana, you are, that's like me taking a tic tac. Chamomile is not going to do it. Lavender is not going to do it. I am addicted to sleep medication. So you need to get off them then, don't you? Lola, it's old. I'm not friends with them anymore. You know why I'm not friends with Ben, Ethan Ben? Because Ethan had a crush on me. And <laughs> I knew I'd find this eventually. Neither of them men had a crush on you. <laughs> Ethan had a crush on me. Lorazepam. Sorry, I went back a bit too far. I'm in a pram. <laughs> and what works for one person might not work for another, so I would never give advice. Mm -hmm. Chamomile, Maria, Marie Diana, you are, that's like me taking a tic tac. Chamomile is not going to do it. Lavender is not going to do it. I am addicted to sleep medication. Uh. Lola, it's old. I'm not friends with them anymore. You know why I'm not friends with Ben, Ethan Ben? Because Ethan had a crush on me and Ben knew it and didn't like it. And each one of them told me secrets about the other one. And one of the secrets was that Ethan constantly was cheating on Ben. And then when I found out they were getting married, I was honest and I said, I cannot stand there and be a part of the wedding when Ethan has just told me that he had someone on the side and he couldn't remain faithful and he made a huge pass at me. <laughs> I so would love to get in touch with Ethan. And say, oh, so, what was all that about? The huge pass that you made at Lorry, huh? <laughs> Honestly, deluded? You live in La La Land. Ethan made a pass at me, whatever. And anyway, if you were told a secret, it was supposed to be a secret. And what goes on in their life it's their affair. I know lots of gay men that are in relationships that have threesomes that bring somebody else in to spice things up because it gets boring. Hey, look at, for example, that young lad out of boy zone. He died on his own on the settee while his husband was in the bedroom having sex with some bloke they'd brought home. So 
it happens all the time i'm sure it's something they whoops they would sort out between themselves it's none of your business you're supposed to just be a sounding board if either of them ever told you anything as a friend which you have no clue how to be you're there to listen to them when they need to let off steam that does not mean that you have to go and tell the other one what they said and someone on the side was a guy i mean how and they both were telling me things in confidence and i never told the other person but three meals be happy for them and I wanted to be but not when each one was telling me all these <clears throat> terrible things about the other one and what they were doing in secrecy so they ended up getting married and how do you know that before the wedding the two of them didn't sit down have a long conversation and say when we get married these are the rules you can see other people so long as i can see other people you can see other people so long as you do it away from our house and not in our bed whatever it's none of your business you know god bless them yeah but they were not okay with it that's the thing like yeah there are a lot of gay couples that have open relationships these guys were telling me in secrecy and when Ethan told me that he was sleeping with somebody else I just I couldn't like be a part of it funny how you can't actually look at us isn't it when you tell these stories about these people And also Ben was a raging, raging alcoholic. You cannot be with alcoholics. His emotions were up and down. Says the woman who got so violently drunk that she pissed herself all around her apartment and fell over in it and woke up naked, spread eagled across the bed and didn't remember anything. Neck in a bottle of Jameson. Who are you to tell anybody they're an alcoholic? Um, and he, I know this sounds like a, 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 an excuse, but I'm just telling you, he was very, very jealous of me. He was jealous of, <laughs> yeah, he thought I was privileged. He thought I was entitled. But you are entitled and think you're privileged, so how was he wrong? Um, he came from a very, very dysfunctional family. Oh, according to you, yours was totally dysfunctional. Your dad fucked off when you were how old and your mum was a raging, narcissistic, psychopathic something or another. But now you're going to say that you had the perfect upbringing and that's why he was jealous of you. But shall we change the story to fit the mood? He and Ethan have so many problems. I feel like they kind of just settled. And Ben honestly has no idea the way Ethan behaved towards me. I, in, when, we, when I flew to the Dominican Republic, I mean, that was so much fun. Like my gay best friends asked me to come on their vacation, but- Did they though? I need to see, is there any, th I need to go back and look and see if there is any of that, but I can guarantee she invited herself. They didn't invite her. Ben got literally blackout drunk I've never seen anybody this drunk. They got, they ended up getting kicked out of the hotel. Ethan had texted me, he was all upset. They ended up getting kicked out of the hotel. Police were called, this was after I left. Ethan got real, we all got really drunk. I don't know if they're still married. We all got really, really drunk. 
But Ethan got so drunk and he was like trying to kiss me, trying to touch my boobs. Mm-hmm. With Ben right there. And then I remember, like, we all passed out, went to sleep. We woke up at, like, 4 a.m. and we went somewhere on the property to get something to eat. And it was just all this. I bet I know why they got thrown out after you'd left. Because of the amount of noise you were making, probably. We know what you're like. I bet there was other people in that hotel corridors away that didn't get a wink of sleep listening to you fucking screeching and yahooing but of course you, you you won't be to blame will you no i don't know how the algorithms work either i'm just saying like it's an old video um no YouTuber knows how the algorithms work. I mean, none of us regular YouTubers, like the beauty community, they don't know how, the, nobody knows how the algorithm works. You are not alone. Um, so we, okay, let's tell a story. I feel like my story times are kind of interesting. And the thing is when I think, oh, I'm gonna be a storyteller because that seems to work. In my mind, I have no stories. But now this story came up and it's a good one. And actually I have a lot of stories about my life. Really crazy things that happened. So with them, I flew to the Dominican Republic. We stayed at the hotel. We got really drunk when I got there on the three inclusive. Did you have to bang the arm of the settee and frighten the shit out of Pom Pom? I'm surprised any of them animals sleep ever in that house. You'd be a, permanently have a case of PTSD with her. You, don't her hand look weird? Every time she moved, you'd be terrified. Where's is the next bang coming or something? What have I done now? Bum. Ah, don't do that. I hate this mouse. <laughs> alcohol that we thought wasn't real. So I drank double, triple what I normally would because I didn't think there was any alcohol in it. And I know how much alcohol I can drink, like two drinks, one and a half, one drink. But sometimes, occasionally, and it's happened on YouTube, when I was drinking the um, Jim Beam out of the bottle. If I had poured it in a glass, I would have known how much I was drinking. Um, Jim Beam then. Anyways, wait. I'm eating a sesame seed. So we all got really drunk. It was really fun. I, w I was throwing up in the ocean so bad. I was so, so drunk. I had bed spins, everything. And you wonder why? They got thrown out. We went back to the room. We all went to sleep. We woke up at four in the morning. We were hungry. There was only one place that was open and the food was like all Mexican food that was had been out for a while. So, hi Diane. So, it was fine. We ate it and then, the next day, Ben and Ethan continued to drink. I had a hangover. Oh, I had, they had these like outdoor cabanas. I couldn't sit in the sun and I couldn't drink. They went and drank to the point that Ben, oh, this was my father's ring. It's a signet ring. To the point that Ben was so drunk and he was doing back flips because he had been a gymnast and dancing on the slippery, um, you put one foot down on the side, is that your trick for bed spins? On the slippery marble around the pool. Like I thought he was gonna crack his head open and he would not stop. Slipping everywhere, falling flat, just. And I think that was me that she just answered. 
that's why this hasn't got a chat with it because I actually watched it and participated and I said I had a a thing for to stop bed spins is someone trying to come in and uh, she said is it putting your foot down on one foot down on the floor and it's like no <laughs> and I wouldn't tell her <laughs> I don't think she cared to know, but, you know. Which one was... I'm trying to figure out, trying to remember. Which one was Ben and which one was Ethan? Was Ethan the flirt, the, the bald guy, and Ben was the dark-haired one? I'm not sure if that was Madam or Mr. Um, I can never remember which one's which. Anyway, so one of them's back flipping on marble, drunk. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. His eyes, like, so drunk. Ethan got really drunk and was trying to kiss me and touch my boobs. I was having none of it at this point because I had been drunk the day before. And I was like, lying in the cabana outside. It was like an open air cabana. And it was weird because this, before they started drinking again and it was like five in the morning, six in the morning, some rogue guy, like boy, but not a boy, but in his twenties, like came by and we ended up talking to him and he was just, he liked me. And I didn't like him. And they wanted me to sleep with him. And I did not want to. And I didn't. Um... Why does she sound like a fucking stupid teenager? He liked me. Whatever. I think, Diane, you're talking about when there was wind. And he was like, wanting to sleep with me. And I was like, I did not, I was, I am not. Did he want to sleep with you or did he want you to sleep with the guy? Which? No, I did not want him. I don't know why, but he ended up coming back up to the room. And Ben and Ethan took a shower together. This is like a vague memory. And I was lying on the bed. I mean, I was lying on the bed and he was lying next to me and he, and he was like, I really, I really want to sleep with you or something. And I was like, no, I'm not interested. You need to leave. And I kicked him out. And Ben and Ethan were like, did you do it? Did you? And I'm like, no, because I guess he was gross. Because I would sleep with anything, really. <laughs> I'm not that picky. Especially if I'm drunk, like uh, drunk and horny. No. Three meals. I made him leave. And we have no idea who he was. God, the risks we take, the risks we take. But you're not scared, are you? I don't like, like, he was like white and pink. <laughs> I don't like pink men. Mm -mm. I don't like white pink men. I mean, now I am picky, but some, when you're drunk and horny, no. If you're remotely attracted, it's gonna happen. For me to turn down the sky, <laughs> Is William pink? Ugh. Like a baby rat. <laughs> so plain and white bread. I've never dated a pink man. <laughs> no. <laughs> High Lotus Sting. I'd rather have a gorgeous black man. 
have you ever had a gorgeous black man though that's the thing you're always going on about this gorgeous black man I've never seen you a one was the gorgeous black man the member of the band that you uh, gave a BJ for for tablets or something something weird going on there remember her saying at some point then a gorgeous Caucasian white pink man. Just saying. Do people get offended if you talk about sex on here? Did I put this one right? Like, I know there's some prudes that are watching me and I know that they're like horrified. Why? Why are you horrified by talking about sex? Um, um, no one said they were horrified. Way to go, making out you're cooler than the rest of us. Nobody's complaining, Larder. You're just making it up in your head. Speaking of talking about sex, like, okay, so now Trisha Paytas is, um... Like, pure as the driven snow. Three she meals. Talk about, like, she was talking about Moses and having sex and calls it doing it. Like, girl, you were on, um, OnlyFans. How do you know what she was doing on OnlyFans unless you paid to see? Doing God knows what. You were a sex worker. It's fine if she's not a sex worker. But first of all, she tried to normalize it. And was mad when people shamed her for it. Now... What do you mean she tried to normalize it? It is normal. It's the oldest profession in the world, is it not? She's entitled to do whatever the fuck she wants to earn her money. None of your business what she's doing or what she's not doing. And you'd only know what she was doing if you were part of her OnlyFans. Something you're not telling us, Lardy. This is my feeling. I believe I believe the prostitution should be legal I don't believe people should be shamed shamed for having sex being promiscuous selling their underwear selling their bodies having sex on camera and people watching it. I do not think that that's wrong. I Ditto. I think. I have a feeling I've said this before. Have I done this video before? My idea in the UK, bring them all indoors, have registered houses, have security, have health checks, clean sheets, condoms, all the stuff. You pay at the door. There's an emergency button in your room, just in case. And you pay tax on what you earn. Whole load of people employed, more taxes being paid. Why can't they do that? Instead of having girls out on the street, in the middle of the night, getting into a car with God knows who, never knowing if they're going to come back again. How is that? No. Legalise it, for Lord's sake. I don't understand. These stupid rules we have in this country. They won't legalise cannabis. 
So the police are wasting their time going around, running around after people that have had a fucking joint or something. Do you know what I mean? It's like, really? Go after the real criminals. <laughs> no, we'll just lock up dope dealers and prostitutes and let all the fucking burglars and rapists and God knows who else go about their business because there's not enough manpower and we're too busy locking up people that don't need to be locked up. I'm sure I've said this before. Anyway, I'm going to stop this at uh, an hour if she finishes what she's saying and make this a part one. I don't think it's bad, but on the same token, don't fucking brag about it because it is not cute. So you do it because you need the money, but you don't brag about it. And you don't flaunt it. And you don't... Why not? Why are you getting so animated now? Why can't they brag about it? Have a threesome on camera when you're pregnant with your husband and Trisha Paytas and act like it's no big deal. Your kid is going to see that. Your kid's going to see you pissed out of your brain, pissing your pants. <laughs> you don't care. Like, I can't believe people like that don't get the kind of hate that I get for doing, that I get, that other YouTubers get for doing, like, what, buying too many things? How do you know she had a threesome? Did you pay to watch it? And returning them? Stealing a lipstick? The mind winking. We know you steal lipsticks. Like... I personally think Lana the Plug, does she even have a channel anymore? Who did she say? Lana the Plug? Yeah. She has a baby now. She had sex with Trisha Paytas on camera. Is she still a porn star? How do you know she had sex on camera? Who told you? Because it sure as hell wasn't on YouTube, was it? So how do you know? Two years ago, Trisha's first time with a girl. I think she had sex on t camera when she was pregnant. Pregnancy Cravings Mukbang featuring Trisha Paytas. She can't have been pregnant if it was two years ago. Unless she's got the longest pregnancy in the history of the world. Elephants aren't even pregnant that long. video was seven months ago. I mean, but before that, that's an unfortunate name. The craft channels on and they're selling six bottles of this metallic stuff and it's called unicorn spit. Sure. They could have thought of a nicer name than that. They molded my body parts into toys. Partying with porn stars. Let's 
see him. I'm waiting to know when to stop. Should have stopped after the Ben and Ethan story, shouldn't I? But you live, you learn. <laughs> so, you know, Trisha did a OnlyFans with that guy, Chad. I didn't see it from. No, oh, didn't you? Okay. When she was on the Big Brother. And he clearly didn't like her because she was fat. That's why she hated him. Because he didn't want her. He wanted the really thin girl. Chad who? Oh, I'm going to have to go back and look now. Because I'm assuming she's talking about when Trisha Paytas was on Big Brother here. And then he ended up coming over to her house. Sticking his dick through a cardboard box, pizza box. And the, I guess they did end up doing it, but she also gave him a blowjob through the pizza box. On camera, I'm only fans. She was like, and you know this because? The highest paid only fans person. Now she's acting like she is Mother Teresa. Plus, I want to say one other thing about her. I don't know why I'm talking about Trisha Payton so much. She's the only one I watch because I don't, everyone else is boring. So apparently she has like fucked up boobs and her nipples are like up here. So she wears sweetheart neck things and is constantly making sure that she doesn't have a nip slip. Because they're like so close to the edge. Like, stop wearing that if you're afraid it's gonna show. Um she's always like, if you watch, watch any of her videos. She's checking it out constantly. So and she stopped doing all of that stuff when she met Moses. Um, he used to film her playing with herself. Like, she talked about sex toys, Adam and Eve. Her, she showed her sister, who was her assistant, cleaning her sex toys after filming. Now, she is like pure as the driven snow. See, this is what I hate. Don't fucking change. Don't become the real you, the fake you, because of circumstances. Just be. It's totally something wrong with him. Um. Same with HRH collection. What are you doing, Lardy? With your stupid. Could it possibly be a uh, gossiping <laughs> it's all right for you to do that on your channel but not for other people to do it on a website okay whatever the whole bullshit she's not real she is not real because you can see her videos from the beginning and she was like this phony look let's play okay, I, want you to hear something. I want you to hear something hold on Right, I'm going to stop it there. And when we start on the next one, she'll be doing an H uh, a HRH rant. And it should make sense. I hope. If you've got this far with me, thank you very much. And I'll catch you in the next one.